Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be covering on how you can connect your Bybit account to the trading board and then automate any trading view indicator or strategy. Now if you think this video is useful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and without wasting any more time let's get into this video. So the first thing that you would need is you would need a Bybit account. Now to create a Bybit account, you can go to crawlcom slash Bybit or you can just look in the description of this video and click on the crawlcom slash Bybit link and then it will take you to the Bybit page where you can create your account. Now if you're using that link, it also helps to support a channel and depending on your deposit size, you will also get a deposit bonus. Now after you've created your account and you've signed in, you can go to the top right to your profile and you can then click on API. Now this is going to take you to the API management page where on the top right you can select create a new key. Now it's going to ask you what type of key you want to generate. Now I suggest that you use system generate the API keys unless you know what you're doing then you can self generate them. So you can give this any name I'm just going to call it Crawl Bot. and then you can select read and write permissions. Now this is important that you select read and write because without selecting read and write the board can't trade on your account. So if you want to set an IP address I will leave that also in the description of this video or you can find it on the board but I'm not going to be adding it right here but it is good to add it for a security measurement. So then if you scroll down you can select unified trading and then assets. If you don't see unified trading here that means you're still on an old Bybit account and you can actually upgrade directly with them. So usually here on the top there would be like this banner where they ask you to upgrade. I already done it so it's not giving me that option. But you would need a unified trading account if you want to automate your trade. Then you can click on submit and it's going to ask you for 2FA. After you've added your 2FA keys it will then generate your API key and secret. Now where you're going to be placing this is you want to go to app.crawl.com or just crawl.com and I will leave the links for that as well in the description of this video and then you need to create an account or log in depending if you have an account or not. So I'm just going to sign in, I'm already uh, logged in so it's taking me to the dashboard and you can see I currently have zero banners in Bybit and that's because I have no API key set. So if I go to exchange and then I go to connect exchange I'm just going to add the same name as my key uh, then I can go back to Bybit get my API key and just paste it in here and then go and get my secret now I did cover the board on a, on a bit of an overview on a previous video so you will find that on my YouTube channel so I'll just paste my secret as next for my security token and choose a live trading account and now if I submit my keys it's going to be checking if they are valid and then you should see the home page if it was valid otherwise it would have told you and uh, give you like an error to contact support now if you see that error it most likely means that you didn't set your permissions correctly so we just go to the dashboard again and see if the, the balance will show and now you can see there's 108 USD uh, available so now you can go ahead and create our first board which would take us to TradingView. Now on TradingView, if you want to automate an indicator or a strategy, you first need to have something in mind that you want to automate. So if you're not part of our Discord community and you don't have the indicators, you can just use any TradingView indicator. Now for the purpose of this video, since I know not everybody is in the Discord, I'm going to use an indicator that you can find free of use on TradingView, which is called the SuperTrend Indicator. Now I'll be using the strategy for the purpose of this video because it just makes things easier to automate since you don't need as many as alerts. So super trend strategy and now you can see it on my chart. I'm not going to uh, you know, try to find good settings or anything like that. I'm just going to go directly and automate this. So now that we have picked our strategy, we first need to make sure that we can actually add alerts on the strategy. Now since not everybody of you understands how to program with a trading view or code like PineScript, I'm just going to show you quickly on how you can do this. So if you click on Pine Editor, it's going to show you this uh, like code on the bottom, but first you would need to create a copy. So I'm just going to click on create a working copy and now I can actually edit this code. So 
also in this notepad I've just created quickly uh, how the alerts would work but if you want this code just join the discord and ask me for this or you just uh, search for it in the chat but it will be there so I'm going to copy this directly and I'm going to take it to trading view so here at the bottom we can just paste it in here and the logic would basically be whatever is giving the long and the short strategies on the chart you want to set alerts on so if you scroll down you can see that this is going to say if the TA changed or whatever that even means you don't need to know you just need to see if this is a strategy of long and a strategy dot short meaning that this is the long entry and that is the short entry so all you can do is basically copy the if statement and then delete the if long uh, condition right there paste in that if statement and then do the same for the short so I'm just going to copy this and paste this in right there so this is basically all you would need to add, be able to add alerts on your indicator or well strategy so after I've done that I'm just going to click again add to chart and I'll remove the first one that I've added and if you want to check if you actually did this correctly you can just click on the indicator settings and you should see this long alert message and the short alert message now before we can actually do anything with that we would need to go back to our board and create a new board so we're going to call this a uh, super trend super trend and then the exchange would be Bybit we can select our token and this would be the one that we just set and then we can collect, uh, select either sport or futures now I'm going to use futures for this example and we can select futures and now it's going to ask us basically if we want to set this on hedge or one way mode now as I've covered previously you should always uh, set this also on your, your Bybit account so if I go for example to USD Perpetual and Ethereum then on this ethereum uh, futures chart you can just go to the top right and then you can go to settings and then under position mode you want to make sure that you select the edge mode and to make this simple so you don't have to go back every time in the future just select apply to all USDT pairs because this setting is available on each symbol that you can trade on Bybit so this just makes it very simple for us and now that that's done we can just continue in creating this board set it to edge mode select next and then you can see the overview and then submit it so now you can see the board was created successfully and now you can actually view the board so now that you can see you can actually start uh, typing in the logic for your board we can look at our indicator and you'll notice there's only two types which is the long and the shorts so we only need to generate the syntax for our long condition and our short condition now on the board we first need to type in the symbol so for this example is if usdt you can give it any name if you'd like i'm just going to leave it empty for now and then we keep market the side is going to be long for leverage we'll use 10x and i'm going to use percentage and let's say 30 percent of what i have available and if you want to add a take profit and stop loss you can do that i'm going to add one percent uh, percentage move and a one percent stop loss so keep in mind this is a market move so if it's on 1% and you have 10x leverage that is 10% of your position because 1 times 10 equals 10 so if you're going to set your percentage to something like 10 or 20% it might fail on a stop loss because that means price will be below zero so just make sure to multiply this with your leverage and then you find something that suits your uh, needs so after you've generated this you can just click on copy syntax and then on trading view you go back into the settings you clear out this long and paste in this long syntax logic now we also need to do short so before clicking ok just keep this open go to your board and just select short so if you want to change anything else you can also do this I'm just going to keep it as is copy the syntax and then we're going to paste it in here so this is basically it for setting up the, the settings and the configurations now I can click OK and you'll see it's saving that in my indicator so now it's already in here and I can just close this and now I can basically go and set my alerts so if I create an alert and I go to notifications I first would need to add this webhook URL if you haven't done it already 
Uh, basically it's empty but then on your board you'll just see this copy open URL copy that and then on trading view paste that in there then under settings you want to make sure that you select alert function calls only the reason why is because otherwise you'll get random things triggering in this, uh, the strategy code that might also send out an alert and you only want to do it on the alert functions that we just set so we're going to say alert function calls only and then you can call this whatever you want so you can also call it super trend just to make it you know easy to track in your alert log so if I create this this basically means that my board is now set and if there's a new trigger on a long or short then it will also enter that on my buy break count now I'm gonna go to a lower time frame and see if I can get an alert to trigger just to show you the process of how this actually works So I'm just doing the same thing now and I'm setting it up again on alert function calls only. We call this super trend and create. So keep in mind that TradingView remembers the conditions that it was set on and if you change something like it indicates as input or a time frame or symbol, you need to redo your alerts because it will remember on what condition it was created on. So now we'll just wait for an alert to trigger and then we should see the trade opening on the left side. So now we can see that we got a short entry alert right here and you'll also see the end alert log. So now it's sending it to the board and right there you can see that it opened up a Ethereum short with the settings that you've set with the take profit and stop loss for example and then basically it would just wait for uh, take profit and stop loss to hit and then it will close the, the, the order and wait for a new one. Now, as I've covered in other videos, there are different ways where you can figure your board with different logic. For example, like pyramiding orders, if you want opposite positions to close, if there's new entries. So basically, the, you know, the, there's a lot of different combinations of strategies that you can create that uh, would affect like the different trading styles. So now we see that is also a long alert that triggered and because we have hedge mode selected, we should also see another position opening near the bottom. Uh, okay, so there you can see a uh, new long has also been created. The reason for that is, is because of the edge mode. If this was set on one way mode, it would have only entered one trade. So again, this is another option you can set depending on your trading style. I'm just pausing my alert right now. And then we, I can also show you that on the board itself, if you wanna close an order, you can just go to close and then you can set it up in a similar way on how we did the longs and just add that to your indicator strategy based on that logic. Now, just to, to keep in mind that anything that you can trigger an alert on, you can send it to the bot because the bot doesn't know what's really happening. It only waits for a certain command. So even if I add a trend line or uh, any kind of TA that you can uh, set an alert on trading view, you can basically automate that. So I'm just going to be pushing out an alert manually. So I'm going to say ETH USDT percentage 100. And then for the closing side, we'll clear, uh, close the long. And we'll also send another one for closing the short. So then on Bybit, we should see these two alert, uh, trades being closed. And basically like that, you can automate almost anything. So I hope you guys find this useful and if you guys have certain things you want to ask or want me to make videos to cover, leave them in the comment section or join the Discord and ask me there and I'll try to uh, my best to cover that. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.